what, what is happening to us is that uh, each uh, four, five, six years, we are jumping from the 21st century to the medievals and uh, have a kind of exchange of fire uh, with uh, the Hamas uh, regime in uh, Gaza. We finish it after a few days. Every side says that uh, he uh, won the, this uh, kind of war and uh, there is a silence for, for a while and then after a few years we uh, get back to uh, shoot each other. It is, it is really very frustrating and the question of who won, who lost is really it's totally marginal. We've been here before, though, as you rightly point out there, where we have seen uh, ceasefires or truces. Uh, what's different this time, if anything? Why should it be different? Yeah, that's what I'm asking. Is, is there any difference this time when it comes to of the ceasefire not. that's no, been broken? The, it, no, it is the same song. I mean, uh, the, the, always the question is uh, who, who uh, launched this uh, round? Uh, this time it was for sure Hamas because they launched a, a fire at Jerusalem of all places and then uh, the government of Israel felt that it uh, must and rightly so perhaps uh, answer with fire and, uh, and here we are. Israel of course was active in helping broker this ceasefire. Would you like to see the dialogue, uh, sorry, Egypt rather was uh, a part of brokering this deal. Would you like to see Egypt continue uh, to be active in, of course, mediating discussions between the two sides? I mean, if it, the two sides are Israel and Hamas, I don't think that anything would happen out of it. But, you know, daily arrangements uh, to uh, allow uh, lorries to uh, move from Israel with food or with uh, uh, oil to the Palestinian side in Gaza and whatever. And here, of course, uh, Egypt helped a lot and, uh, and will help in the future. But the question is about the bigger picture. I mean, on the, uh, on the one hand, uh, the new administration decided uh, uh, officially or unofficially uh, that uh, the issue of uh, Israel and Palestine is not very high on the agenda since there has been quite, uh, had been quite uh, a quiet situation and, uh, and, and since uh, Netanyahu is not eager to partition the land and to have uh, an agreement with uh, the Palestinians and the Palestinian president uh, Abbas uh, is too weak, so let us deal with other things. Now, I can, of course, appreciate that the only superpower in the world has other issues on its agenda, but what happened very, very soon is that uh, it exploded uh, in uh, our faces. So uh, I don't think that, it, that uh, it, the United States will be able to uh, uh, eschew from this uh, conflict. And, uh, and I think that it, it will and it should uh, help us in trying to solve the real problem between Israel and the Palestinian Authority, the PLO, 